prior to me to us, this is LTA tutorials. In, in today's tutorial, we're talking about limit of the function. Normally, there is a difference between limit and function itself. For example, we are given the question like 2x plus 3, why do you tell you f of x is equal to 2? Or they can write it in such a way that f2 is equal to 2x plus 3. This is a kind of question on function itself. So that means that anywhere you see the function of x, you replace it with 2. That means the value of x here is equal to 2. Which means that you can have 2 into 2 plus 3. So you have 4 plus 3, which is equal to 7. So this is an example of a function. So when it comes to limits, a limit, you now the limit is just the value where every function tends to. So the limiting value of this function is 2. So that's why they call the limit of a function. The limit is the value that is responsible for every function. So that's the end product of every function. So on that limit itself, you can have the quadratic limit that can be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. You can have the linear limit of x plus bx minus c is equal to 0, like that, um, and so on. So for example, now let me just give us a simple example on limit. We can have the limit x tends to 2, where we have 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 4. So this is a divisional limit of such. So all you just need to do here is that the limiting value of x in this function is equal to 2. So that means that you will just have to substitute the value of x, which is 2, into this function. So you have 2 into 2 plus 3 divided by 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2 times 2. You have 4 plus 3 divided by 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. So here you have 7 over 6, which is the same as 1 over 1 over 6. So that's that on limit of a function.